She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hi, hello, my name is Neve. So as you can see from today's title of the video, I'm going to show you 10 things that I can't live without. James Charles also did this a few weeks ago, so I thought, you know what, let's have a go. So I have a set of stuff here right next to me of things that I can't live without and I'm going to share with you what those things are. So let's get on with the video. So to make it a little bit more interesting, I haven't just done gadgets and stuff, I've genuinely just done gadgets and products that I use in general and that I can't live without. Question is now, where do I start? What do I start with? Okay, so the first thing that I have is this little SD card adapter. So you guys know that I film on my camera but edit on my phone because it's easier to transport my phone around when it comes to editing on the bus. What I do is I film on my camera, do the video, whatever I'd like to do, and then the SD card that goes in the camera fits into this and you just plug this into your phone obviously it's an iPhone little lead thing you can get them for Samsung's as well and Android's and just in general so I got the iPhone one because obviously I've got an iPhone and it basically imports the video footage that you've got from the SD card to your phone and it was like, it was probably only about 8 quid it's really good, really handy I did lose it for a few weeks okay so the next thing that I can't live without is this and it is Nivea moisturiser I normally use this for my face before doing makeup I always moisturise and put primer on before I do my makeup and I've always loved this I've used this for absolutely ages so the next thing that I can't live without is actually, I'm using it right now, and it is my ring light, which I use for my TikToks and my YouTube videos, and sometimes even just selfies if I'm using my camera on a tripod and stuff for Instagram photos, I sometimes use it then. And I bought that probably around Christmas time, January maybe, and it was probably the best investment I've made yet. The only problem is, which I wish I should have done before I ordered it, was check whether there was a tripod in it to put your phone in. So I actually have this. So this fits on my tripod that I'm using right now, but you have to like twist it on and stuff. But there's tripods out there that just have that and it comes with the ring light and the tripod kind of like sits in the middle so you can do it there. So I wish I had looked at that, but it's okay no problem it has got a little bit of a crack because i have dropped it a few times because i'm so clumsy i've put mine at the back of my bed like in the corner of where my bed is okay so the next thing is very similar and it's another ring light i remember buying this in spain in a shop called ali hop and it's basically the same you turn it on and you can turn up the brightness and it turns off so you've got three different settings so I've got my phone here and all you have to do is put this on the top of your phone, turn the lights on and then if you want to take a selfie you just have it and there you go. So I've just taken a selfie. It does help when it comes to going out to nice places to eat and you want to get some photos maybe in the restaurant and you just put this on because it's very, you can just easily fit it in your bag and it's very easy to use so the next thing that i can't live without is actually a homework tracker and a homework planner the reason why i can't live without this is because i can get very disorientated in the sense of i'm not very good at being organized and it's very handy because i know then that i've got this to do on sunday i've got this to do for monday stuff like that and even though i don't get set a lot of college work anymore it is very very handy and i'm sure it will definitely help me out a lot more in the future you can probably get them in poundland for like one pound or even the works you could probably get it for like one pound twenty or something but i definitely recommend especially if you're a gcse student it just helps you out a lot more with your homework and it literally says homework tracker don't forget so it is very very useful I've had to put her on mute otherwise she'll speak. But the next thing that I can't live without is my Alexa Echo Dot. And I listen to a lot of music. Before I filmed this video I was doing my photo wall even though it doesn't look any different. I was just sticking some more things down and stuff. I was listening to her on full volume. And she's just a good for a speaker as well if you're having a party and stuff. She's very good. I also sometimes if I can't get to sleep I like to listen to rain noises or like rainforest noises. And it does help me get to sleep. So she does quite a few things. She tells you the time. You can play games with that. I can't live without Alexa now. 
Okay, moving on to the next thing is we have this little pot here. This is quite old and dirty. I think we've had it for a while. But all it is is a little mini pot and you can put any cotton balls, cotton pads, anything you'd like in it to keep your stuff in there. And it keeps it all neat and tidy so you don't have cotton ball pads everywhere because that was something I used to have. I used to keep it in the bathroom but I normally take off my makeup in here. But it is very, very useful, very petite, quite small. I keep it on my desk because it's easy to access from there. Okay, so the next thing that I can't live without is this cute little, I don't know what it is really, notepad box thing. My nan and granddad got me this for Christmas to help with my GCSE revision notes. And all it is, it's got a little mini drawer in so I can put whatever I'd like in there. I could put earrings in there if I wanted to. And I've stuck Happy Halloween sticker on it from Lauren's studio. It basically just has a big set of notepads in it. Last but not least, this is my fake AirPods. Now, the reason why I say fake AirPods is because they genuinely are fake AirPods. They aren't the real make, but they are. you could basically say that they're the real make because they look exactly like them. They're a lot cheaper. I think they're only about £16. The real AirPods are very expensive. I think they're up to £200 that you can get them for. And... I didn't particularly want to spend an absolute fortune on some things that I could possibly end up losing. So stupid me forgot the tenth thing. That's because I couldn't see it on my thing. But the tenth thing that I cannot live without is this thank you next bag which my best friend bought for me for my 16th birthday I think. Here's me coming in before the outro to say that I missed out an item. And there you have it guys, that is 10 things that Dream and Evie can't live without. I really hope you've enjoyed this video, maybe it's inspired you to buy some more things for yourself and get yourself organised and things, so I really hope this video has helped you out a little bit. So yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, check out my recent video, it didn't do very well but, and it took me about 10 hours to edit because it was being a pain in the bum. Turn post notifications on and I will see you next time with another video. Bye. Mwah. Feel your eyes.